become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to talk about the Reeves deadlift and its complete misinterpretation and use nowadays. Steve Reeves, aesthetic icon of the silver era, was always looking at new training ideas to enhance his V taper, understanding that this was one of the keys to an aesthetic physique. And he came up with revolutionary training ideas such as the Reeves deadlift with the purpose of broadening his shoulders. And I can't emphasize this enough and I'll repeat it again. The Reeves deadlifts, the purpose of it was to broaden his shoulders. He has uh, stated this even in several interviews in his books and he has been written about countless times in magazines. Yet on the internet, you will find these ridiculous misinterpretations due to a lack of understanding or knowledge on this particular matter. So today I'd like to enlighten you on the topic and explain the original method and purpose of the Reeves deadlift as Steve Reeves himself originally intended it to be used. I'd like to state first and foremost that the Reeves deadlift, its performance is not to be used as a deadlift in itself. Um, the problem is that you have platforms such as T-Nation, which I highly respect. They've got a lot of good articles, but in this particular matter, they're wrong. And they um, emphasize that it is actually supposed to be used as a deadlift. Then you see other internet platforms, which have headlines such as build monster traps with the Reeves deadlift or crush your upper lats and back with the Reeves deadlift or, or the Reeves deadlift is a forearm destroyer and all these other titles. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. And further, I mean, this is where it gets absolutely uh, ludicrous. They modify it to um, use the performance of the Reeves deadlift. They actually modify the performance to suit the uh, movement pattern of a deadlift and, and they start doing trap bar versions or even trap bar single leg variations as shown here and they've completely at the end bastardized the movement to basically convert it into a deadlift which it is not it is not a deadlift now if steve reeves was alive today may he rest in peace the the great icon of the silver era he'd probably grab a 45 pounder walk around the gym and start slapping everybody across the face thinking that it was a deadlift no he would probably tell him it's a shrug and i used it to broaden my shoulders and i mean who can argue here he is outside of sig klein's gym in an overcoat look at the size of his shoulders and of course he's not wearing any shoulder pads under that he was just wide as a damn door. The guy was wide because he uh, basically um, focused on broadening his shoulders in any extreme way possible. He, he thought of many different ideas, including the Reeves deadlift, which I'm, which I'm now going to explain in a little bit, little bit more detail for you. Now, I'd like to emphasize that it is a shrug. It is a shrug and not a bodybuilding shrug as in for the hypertrophy of the trapezius muscle, not at all. Let me um, share with you this excerpt from an interview. Uh, an interview, by the way, that was given to uh, Steve Reeves over the phone. And here it is, quote, something else I did. I created an exercise called the Reeves deadlift. This was a deadlift using a very wide grip. I actually grabbed the outside of the plates on a seven foot Olympic bar. I would deadlift the weight this way and then do shrugs. Now this is what I believe is one of the biggest misconceptions about the Reeves deadlift. People think that he actually just grabbed the bar really wide and began deadlifting and then dropping the weight and continue deadlifting. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You do not deadlift the, the, um, the setup in that way. You do not. You simply deadlift the bar up, grabbing it from the outside of the plate and you shrug it but you don't shrug it violently to build your traps. No, as he puts it, with this wide of the grip, all of the work went to the side delts and none on the traps, none on the traps. So it's not necessarily a bodybuilding shrug. It is a shrugging motion and work them in such a way that could not be affected by any other exercise. So he actually does mention that, he, that the Reeves deadlift performed as a shrug did not affect his traps at all. 
but it affected his side delts, with, which gave him more width in the shoulders. Furthermore, he already he says after this, my already naturally wide clavicles became wider, and my side delts grew amazingly well as well. So there you have it. He not only used this Reeves deadlift to widen the and, and cause hypertrophy on his um, side deltoids, but according to Reeves, this particular movement actually stimulated his clavicles to grow even wider. I know it's an amazing claim, but this is the purpose, at least in Reeves's mind, of the Reeves deadlift, to make him broader, to broaden the skeletal frame uh, and also add further thickness to the side delts. This was his own opinion and the purpose, according to Reeves, of the Reeves deadlift. Now, there are very limited images of Reeves performing the Reeves deadlift and I actually like to call it the Reeves Shrug. Um, but there are a couple online which I was able to find. And the photo on the left, you can see that Reeves has actually just picked up the, uh, the weight using his fingertips. But on the photo on the right, you can actually see that he's raised his shoulders up. And hence, he's performing this shrug. And you can see at the bottom uh, here of um, another excerpt from an interview, um, it actually says here Reeves is doing the Reeves deadlift an exercise he invented which he says broadened his shoulders and also added much thickness to his side delts. So there you have it. There's actually photographic evidence of Reeves performing the Reeves deadlift as a shrug. Now one point to really emphasize is that I've read also in his books and in other articles that he performed this slowly. The movement was very very small. It was a very little shrug and basically you could almost call it scapular movement. He actually used this particular movement, the Reeves deadlift, which again I like to call the Reeves shrug, to actually move his scapula up and down because when you are in such a wide grip you can't really use the traps too much. I mean you will use them a little bit but what what you'll find is if you flare your arms out, tense them out as if you're grabbing the bar uh, in a Reeves deadlift style performance, you find that most of the motion is actually in the scapula and that's actually what he did. He would actually retract his scapula and then bring it, you know, he would basically, basically be moving his scapula in a shrug-like motion. He'd be retracting and protracting, retracting and protact, pro, uh, protracting the, the scapula and in this form, stretching out the ligaments and tendons around the area to broaden his shoulders. This is exactly the purpose of the Reeves deadlift. It is not necessarily a, uh, a hypertrophy motion for the upper back, for the lats, or for the forearms. Of course, as I mentioned, if you perform it as a deadlift, yes, it would, it would actually um, serve this purpose. But the original purpose of the Reeves deadlift, or uh, Reeves shrug, is to actually broaden the structure of the shoulder frame and to also build thickness in the side delts. And you can see his side delts here are bursting uh, as he performs this motion. So it has this dual effect. The whole effect in the end is broader shoulders, both in muscle and in the skeletal frame. Now, if you're interested in finding out more about how Steve Reeves developed his broad shoulders, well, I've just written a book called How I Developed Broad Shoulders by Steve Reeves based on his many interviews and articles that he gave over the years. It's available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. And he actually believes in his own opinion that you can both widen the shoulders using hypertrophy and uh, skeletal manipulation techniques. Um, I'll, I won't give the whole book away, of course, but he, can be he believes that you can actually add up to six inches, four inches using muscular hypertrophy techniques. Um, of course bodybuilding and of course the specialized exercises such as rib cage expansion and even the Reeves deadlift which is shown in this particular uh, booklet and and uh, more important is to how to incorporate these skeletal uh, manipulation exercises in your program all of this is found in uh, this awesome little booklet that I've come out with how I develop broad shoulders by Steve Reeves again available on my website so I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Reeves deadlift and I hope that it's clarified the misinterpretation of how it is used. It is actually a shrug-like motion for broadening the shoulders. 
If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Thank you for watching and leave me a comment. If you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal. Uh, you can become a patron, or as I mentioned earlier, you can find out uh, more about old school training methods through my books and courses available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Hi everybody, I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still on equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day, and again, highly recommend this book.